now to the Zonda Commission. Why was uh, Crime Intelligence involved in an independent police investigative directorate investigation? That key question was put to the uh, former Minister of Police, Nati Ntlerko, several times in the context of the 2010 Zimbabwe rendition saga that IPED investigated, producing, you'll recall, two reports in 2014. Reporter Michael Apple joins us from the newsroom with the uh, latest update uh, on that story. Michael, so first of all, crime intelligence itself, was it involved in investigating this rendition issue? If so, you'll tell us why it was problematic. It certainly was, Jeremy, and it's problematic for a number of reasons. So if you go back to 2010, the narrative is that there are hawks and crime intelligence officials that are involved in illegally handing over Zimbabwean nationals to Zimbabwean police and that those Zimbabwean nationals then subsequently die in Zimbabwean police detention and that this is in contravention of our home affairs rules and regulations. So when IPID starts to look at the conduct of Hawks and crime intelligence officials in this rendition saga, all of a sudden crime intelligence initially heads up that investigation. Now, crime intelligence, Jeremy, deals in information, not in, um, in docket uh, gathering or uh, in, it deals in information and not in evidence gathering. So they had no business whatsoever as a statutory body under the police to be investigating anything. When the report is, finally goes to IPED to start investigating, uh, it is the testimony of Innocent Kuba who would subsequently pen these two IPAD reports that there was an official from Crime Intelligence who was told would follow him at all stages of the investigation. Now IPAD, as the name suggests, is supposed to be completely independent. Once again, a Crime Intelligence official has no business whatsoever being involved in an IPAD investigation. It would be akin to as there were crime intelligence and Hawks officials involved and crime intelligence is involved in the investigation, crime intelligence is investigating crime intelligence. That's what it boils down to. All right, uh, Michael, I sense you've spent much of today hacking your way through a jungle. Uh, what then was the former minister's response? It has been trying to get blood out of a stone, Jeremy. It has been incredibly frustrating. I think anybody who has been watching uh, the third day for the past two days, including today, um, would be able to factually say that it has been incredibly difficult to get any straight answers out of Mr. Nklerk or from the questions put to him by Advocate Garth Hulley. I'll give you an example. When a question is put to him, a yes or no question, all Mr. Nklerk would respond was, I'm following you. Now, I follow doesn't mean yes or no. And these are not points that are pressed on by the evidence leaders or the Deputy Chief Justice. So at many times, one simply doesn't know what Mr. Nkleko's answers actually are. We expect for him to finish his testimony sometime today. All right, uh, Michael Apple, back with uh, that a little bit uh, later on uh, on uh, ENCA. Uh, you're watching Wednesday lunchtime.